Hello everyone, I'm coming with a new video for this new game that I've come across. New to me, I haven't played it yet, Medieval Dynasty. And right away I noticed that it's very similar to Enshrouded in some of the design. I don't know if, like I don't know who is coming up with the, this design here first. Enshrouded was the first game for me that kind of had that graphic going on. I'm sure there's, you know, if this game is using it and Enshrouded is using it, I'm sure there's other games that are also using this design. It's fairly new to me. I only know of Enshrouded at the moment. And, uh, you know, this circular design where you click around and build stuff. Uh, now, this game, I'll say that for me, the only thing that makes me not like this game is... The dialogue when you go around and you're talking to all the NPCs none of them speak there's no voice acting so you have to read everything and I don't really like to do that back in the day for many years because you know I'm an old dude um, I'm in my 30s and back in the day we played these games called MUDs multi-user dungeons which was all text all text all the time and when I got, you know, the newer games, as they started coming out with voice acting and more and more voice acting, I kind of started to really enjoy the voice acting games better because, it, to me, it, it's just tedious to read every quest, every message, you know, read everything all the time. I don't mind reading occasionally, but I don't like games that are entirely around reading. I, I like some voice acting, like half and half. Give me half voice acting, half reading, something like that. So to me, that was the biggest downfall for this game. But the gameplay is actually fun. I do enjoy the building in it. As you see here, I'm putting up the first house, hut, whatever you want to call it. I'm building my first structure. And I'm collecting materials, getting logs, and things like that. I do a little bit of hunting and... I don't get a sense of danger from this game so far. So far I haven't come across any aggressive animals. I haven't had a bear try and eat me. It's been very lackluster in the combat department. It's been only me hunting small game. As of right now, I have not come across any challenge whatsoever. The combat wise, the only challenge really is finding materials because you're trying to level up get new skills and you're trying to find like you need materials to craft certain things and you're trying to find them and trying to find those materials can be a real pain in the butt and then the yeah see the uh, inventory system it's easy enough to figure out but it's not very intuitive like I don't even know how to explain it because like when you first look at it it looks kind of like a cluster and then once you look at it long enough it makes sense and then it's one of those things where it's complicated to look at it first but once you get it you get it and it's like oh okay it's not that bad but it is a little clustered with the the inventory and the skills and the skill trees it feels like there's a lot going on there but again you see me going through town I'm stealing I was stealing something out of someone's chest and I'm just checking out NPCs, seeing what they have available. The crazy thing is, is you have to go to the water to drink every now and then, so I recommend staying close to the water source. But you can also go into settings. You can turn it off. You can turn off weight. So you have a very limited amount of weight you can carry. However, you can go in settings and turn that off. You can turn off all of the survival stuff. But I'll tell you right now, if you turn off all the survival stuff, the game is incredibly boring because without needing to eat or drink and not having a carry limit, there's no challenge at all. It, it's just you wandering around looking for stuff. So if you like survival games, it is fun for a little bit. I personally... I don't know if it's worth the money. I, maybe if it's your kind of thing. I, I'm i playing it a little bit. I'll play it a little bit more. Maybe it'll get better in time. As of right now, I'm a few hours in. It's very lackluster. It's more fun with leaving the survival stuff on. 
I turned off the carry weight limit because you can't carry very much. You cut down a few logs and then you're encumbered and you can't move and then that's just a hassle. And who wants to move one log at a time? So And so far the skills the skills that I've unlocked at this point, they they're eh. I feel like they're just filler, like filler skills, like stuff that doesn't really need to be a skill. Um, I think this game's off to a good start as far as a survival builder game goes. I don't know. I want to like it. I'll say that. I want to like it. I like the world. I like the design, the aesthetic. I like walking around in this world with the survival stuff on, like needing to eat and drink. That adds a little bit of complexity to it. So I want to like this game. All right, well, that's it for this video. Um, let me know what you think of this game. Does it look interesting to you or no? It's a survival builder, so maybe there's more to it. But leave a like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what games you would like me to check out. And that's it for this one. Have a good one.